Did a night of reckless behavior endanger her own life? Nobody told you to get behind the wheel of a car truck. Next Judge Judy. Today at 3 on CBS 2. Join CBS 2 as we celebrate the 112th annual Polish Constitution Day Parade. It's live May 3rd at 11.30 only on CBS 2. Get a front row seat to the Star Search semifinals. Live CBS tonight. Okay. Oh. Oh, wow. This looks good. Thanks. Mm, wait. You don't have to feed me, Katie. Hey, a little chicken piccata is a lot cheaper than paying a river. Mm. Well, this is really good. Oh. Mm, where'd you learn to cook like this? Um, well, cruise ships and nightclubs. Oh. My mom was singing for the guests. I was hanging out in the kitchen. Do you sing, too? <laughs> no, no, only in the shower. <sighs> so, what's new? Not much. Talk to anyone lately? Talk to people all the time about an entire crew. I mean, somebody who's not using power tools. Somebody like Molly? Not since Rosanna's wedding. Why? We just go around in the same miserable circles. You know, nothing ever gets settled. Besides, she's seeing someone right now, so... Oh, yeah, right. Rusty. Dusty. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Yeah. Either way, that whole relationship is completely shallow. Let her have her rebound. She's as smart as she pretends to be. Then she's going to come crawling back to you. I'm not sure about that, but thank you. Henry probably left his keys again. Wow, what a coincidence. We were just talking about you. I'm just warning you. If Craig comes back to me, then I will be content that I listened to you and I didn't send him to prison. But if he comes back here and he doesn't want me and I find myself filing for divorce, then so help me God, Carly, I will come after you with everything I've got. What are you getting at, Rosanna? Hello, Jack. I think it's pretty I'm simple, not even really. taking it personally. Rosanna's upset because her husband walked out on her and she wants to yell at somebody. No, she said something about coming after you. I don't like to hear you threatened. Look, I know you're feeling a little beat up right now, but why does Carly have to take the brunt of this? She's your sister, Rosanna, and she's pregnant. So unless you have a reason for lashing out like this, keep your threats to yourself. <sighs> Been shopping, Em. Bought yourself a brand new watch to replace the one that Barbara took off your wrist right after you kidnapped her. Your brain is working so hard they can hear it in China, Emily. No wiggling out of this one, so come clean. Fine. I did it. I kidnapped Barbara Ryan. So go ahead, get out the cuffs. Take me downtown. <sighs> Just when I thought things were gonna get back to normal around here. I know, it, it, it was an insane idea. Whose insane idea? Craig's. <sighs> I figured as much. But it didn't seem that awful at first, really. I mean, we had no intention of hurting Barbara. We just wanted to put her on ice for a couple of days. You know, the law has a word for it. I think they call it kidnapping. Yeah, but even if you have a really, really good reason for it... This I gotta hear. We wanted to help Carly. That's all. She was having such a horrible time of it. You know that. You know, she and Jack split up, and, and she's pregnant, and she's having a really hard time coming up with designs for Monte Carlo, and Barbara's prancing around Oakdale, rubbing her nose in it. There's no law against prancing. Yeah, well, there ought to be a law against Barbara Ryan. I'm looking for a little remorse here, Emily. Well, I'm not sorry for what we did, all right? I'm just sorry we got caught. Define we. Me. You said we. No, I meant, I, I meant me. Emily! What? I, 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 mean, I, I was thinking of Craig. I can see your wheels turning. Who else, Emily? Uh, nobody. Emily, you and I both know Craig never gets his hands dirty. Who else helped you? Daniel. I think I hear Daniel. I think I gotta go... Emily? What? I want names, and I want them now. Who 
helped you take Barbara, put her in a deserted cabin against her will. May I say, Miss Ryan, that you are looking as stunning as ever. Especially considering that whole horrible ordeal. I, I, I read about it in the City Times. And I'm sorry, have I introduced myself? I My know name who is... you are, Mr. Coleman. I'm flattered. Don't be. Uh, what happened to you? D d the only word for it is sh shameful. Do the uh, police have any leads? Funny, I was wondering the same thing. Funny as in haha -ha or funny as in odd? Funny as in curious. But then you're a curious man, aren't you, Henry Coleman? Yes, it's my Achilles heel. <laughs> okay, I don't want to take up any more of your precious oh, please, time. Please, 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 join me. Um, Another martini. Yes, well, I would love to, but it is my shift to volunteer at the homeless shelter, so... Oh, but I have information about my abduction. Things you won't read in the paper. It's only a matter of time until Rose D'Angelo and Emily Stewart are arrested for my kidnapping. Aha! Uh -huh. I'm sorry, but I'm a bit of a, a stickler for details. Yeah. Uh, isn't Emily Stewart also known as Mrs. Hal Munson, as in the, uh, the Dick Tracy of Oakdale, Hal Munson? As far as I'm concerned, there's only ever been one Mrs. Hal Munson. Right, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, so hard to keep track, because marriages come and go so quickly here. And Shut I... up, and I'll give you the inside poop, okay? The police are looking for a third conspirator. A man. A man? Sure. And I don't think Hal's gonna have to look very far to find him, do you? Henri? Drink up. I would love to, but uh, the volunteer at the shelter, it's my turn to hand out the soup, so. Let's say, hypothetically, of course, that you know more about my kidnapping. Perhaps we could make a deal that would be mutually beneficial. What sort of deal? I deal with a bunch of zeros on the end. You tell me what I want to know, and I will be very, very good to you. Regular pads are designed to best fit a size 6. Hey, we're not all a size 6. So areas of our panties are unprotected. That's why there's always maximum protection for sizes 14 plus. Longer front and back with wider flexi wings for the best coverage available from Always. Finally, something just for me. Always expect more protection. Like his hands. To keep them healthy, all Iams Adult Formulas now have new daily dental care. It fights an effect of time by reducing tartar buildup by up to 50%, which helps your dog live more healthy years. Think of them as Iams years. Iams, good for life. Tired of conditioners weighing your hair down? Try Pantene Pro V. The Pantene formula suspends moisture and pro-vitamins, so hair is light and healthy, not weighed down. Pantene Weightless Conditioning. That's the beauty of health. Run your fingers through your hair. Shampoo with Pantene and feel the difference. The Pro-V formula with extra moisturizers makes it softer, silkier, weightless in 10 days. Shampoo with Pantene and feel the softness. Do your eyes itch? Or water? they red or swollen? You've got allergy eyes. Eyes that may need a prescription medicine. Patinol. Patinol 
Tylenol gives you fast, effective relief from all your eye allergy symptoms. Just one drop, twice a day. There's a low incidence of headache, burning, or stinging. Wait 10 minutes before putting in your contacts. So what are you waiting for? Ask your doctor about Patinol. Relief is in sight. Everyone loves all natural Capri Sun. It's made of stuff I've actually heard of. And it disappears as fast as they do. Capri Sun, it's liquid cool. My brother Danny and me, he got a new truck, I got a bigger one. I've got a family, he's got a bigger one. And my doctor tells me to start taking an aspirin every day for my heart. Just one tiny little St. Joseph aspirin. Though maybe bigger isn't always better. Try telling him that. What the SARS epidemic is doing to America's bottom line tonight on the CBS Evening News. CBS Tonight. They killed my baby. A murder case will push one investigator over the line. You're not working on this case anymore. A special CSI CBS Tonight. What do you want to know? What I want is for you to state for the record that Rose D'Angelo and Emily Stewart were behind my abduction. And then you will be protected. Just protected because I could have sworn I heard something about zeros. You will be amply rewarded. And I will tell the police that you had a change of heart. You repented, saw the error of your ways, allowed me to escape an act of mercy. Mercy is my middle name. That's what I thought. Now you listen to me. If you don't cooperate, I will be telling Hal that the man that I saw at the cabin looks an awful lot like Henry Coleman. Tall, pasty, weak chin. Weak chin? And the police will be combing your apartment before you finish that drink. Now, are you sure you didn't leave any evidence lying around? Piece of lint, perhaps? Okay, okay, okay. It was Emily Ann Rose, all right, but, but Craig was calling all the shots. We just did the legwork. Thank you. Now, here's a suggestion. You get back to your apartment, you break out the vacuum cleaner, and you clean house, you got it, just in case. I'll be in touch. Paul, it's your mother. I'm in the lounge. You get down here, I need to speak to you. I have some rather disturbing news about Rose. Will you stop grilling me? Why do I have to incriminate somebody else anyway? You know, we took good care of Barbara, brought her food, we checked on her every now and then. You held a woman against her will. Yeah, well, at least I didn't sick a mad scientist on her. Emily! <sighs> I know you have every reason in the world to hate Barbara. But I can't help you if you don't tell me everything. I don't want your help, okay? I'll just accept my punishment. And I should accept it too, and Daniel, and Will. You have a family. You can't just go running off and pulling crazy stunts without knowing that it's going to hit home. I know, I have a family. Did we come into your mind when you were hatching this plot yes. with, with Craig? Of course. What, well, didn't seem to make you put the brakes on? You know what, if I wanted guilt, I would have gone to my mother. You didn't have to lie to me, Emily. Yes, I did. I did, don't you see? Once things got rolling so fast, I couldn't stop, and I didn't want to lie to you, I swear. At, at the wedding, when you noticed my watch, I wanted to drag you off so bad and tell you the truth. Why didn't you? Because I knew we'd end up right where we are right now. And this is exactly where we're gonna stay until I get names. Fine, you want names, huh? You want to play bad cop, tough guy? Fine, break me. God, I hate it when you play this chief of detectives garbage on me. I want to slug you half the time. Rose. It's 
Surprise, surprise. <sighs> and Henry Coleman. Henry Coleman? We were afraid we wouldn't be able to handle Barbara on our own, so... So you got into bed with Henry Coleman? Why didn't you ever, ever make all the wrong choices for all the right reasons? Oh, yeah. It's not like we asked for ransom or anything, or I kept her buried in a vault. Don't put lipstick on this pig. It's called kidnapping. And, and Jack already knows. Yeah, right, but just about me. He gave me the receipts so I could handle it myself. Handle it? 25 years. That's what you're looking at, Emily. 25. How do I live without you for 25 years? Tell me how I do that. You think I have no right to be angry with my sister? Carly's not your problem. Oh, I see. What about the fact that she's constantly drawing my husband into the tornado she calls a life? Wait a second, I don't draw Craig into anything. Oh, yes, that's right. He readily volunteers. Craig is a suspect in Barbara's kidnapping, right? You're looking for a motive? Why don't you look no further than your wife? Because she is the reason that she does everything that Craig does. So, yes, I told her that if this marriage is over before it began, then I'm going to seek my revenge where I can find it. And, yes, that is a threat. So if you want to arrest me, you go right ahead because I mean every single word of it. And if you don't, I will be upstairs if you change your mind and you want to read me my rights. So I'll just let the two of you figure things out and you can leave on your own. And I hope it will be soon because I have a splitting headache. Oh, <laughs> don't let her get to you, really. She's clearly off her spool since her husband walked out on her. Why are you here, Carly? I told you. I, just, I came by to check up on her. Right, because you're worried about a woman you'd only speak to once a year if, if you knew one would find out about it? Well, well, she and I we sort of bonded a little bit on the day of her wedding, and I thought that maybe, maybe there was a chance for us, you know? I guess that's crazy, isn't it? Yeah. You know, it's not crazy. You're running over here to warn Craig. The minute you heard me order that search warrant... No, I've, to I've told you. I've sworn to you that I did not have anything to do with that kidnapping. Never said you did. But, but Barbara's running around screaming that Craig did it for me. Now, maybe he did or maybe he didn't, but I don't want him to take the fall because of me. I know. Barbara doesn't have a lot of fans in this town, but she deserves the truth, well, She deserves a lot of things, Jack. Stay out of the way in this investigation. I'm not going to have you undermine me or this case. Do you understand that? Do we understand each other? I'm so scared. What's wrong with you? <laughs> all right, look. Sit down, all right? Okay. Could you get, um, Molly a glass of water or something? Be right. If it's not too much trouble. Sure, no trouble at all. I was in Dusty's hotel room, like, alone, and, um, these guys, they, they, these thugs burst in. Well, okay. Who? Uh, I don't know. These guys, <laughs> they threatened me, Mike. Uh, what they want? The Dusty. They said that he needed to make good on some business arrangement or something, and I think he's into some really bad stuff. And then... <laughs> They think that I'm his girlfriend now, and I think they're trying to get to him through me. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm an idiot, okay? I mean, I have absolutely no right to drop this on you, and I'm sorry, but I really didn't know where else to go. I'm sorry. Sorry. Right. Molly. Oh, you... no, not Molly, just me. <laughs> Try not to look so disappointed. Sorry. Tell you the good news. Contractor said the salon could be open in two weeks. They've been working around the clock. Hey. That's great, baby. That's great. You're no, you're great. You know? You put your money where your mouth is, you believed in me, and I can count on one hand the people in that club, so thank you. So, where is Miss Molly? I don't know. Trouble in paradise? No. She just. She got the wrong idea about something, and oh. she's not calling me back. So. Ah, who cares? No big loss. The way she treated Craig's wedding, something at the bottom of her shoe. She's actually a pretty good woman, but I think you might have something there. Besides which, I broke my first rule. Avoid all weddings. Uh, mine. Oh, well, of course. Thank you. 
You know what I think? I think she's still got a bad for bachelor number one. My cat's not very upset. Katie Frazier was hanging around her favorite tool belt. <laughs> you, my friend, were there for one reason. And one reason only. To make him jealous. I know. I know. You don't care about that? No, not really. I mean, Molly and I don't run that deep, you know? Oh. You're a nice man. Shouldn't be put on the back burner. And there's more to life than just having a good time. Like what? <laughs> Settling down. Having the family. Oh, me? Yeah. Why not you? Well, I wouldn't hold my breath for them. <gasps> yeah, because you haven't met the right woman, is all. Molly's pretty and everything, but she's high maintenance, you know? <laughs> so, you know what I think? I think you should kick her to the curb. You could do better. You could do much, much better. In the future, everyone's glasses will automatically adjust to changing light and block out harmful UV rays that can damage the eyes. But for those with transitions lenses, the future is already here. Ask your eye care professional, because the danger is real now, and so is the protection. Transitions, right in any light. Allergies leave you ultra sensitive? The softest tissue is Kleenex Ultra Soft. Thank goodness for Kleenex tissues. Maybe it's not the kids that are wearing you out. Maybe it's hormones. They fluctuate as early as your 30s. Don't wait till menopause to get Estrovan with soy and black cohosh to help balance hormones naturally, safely. Don't wait till menopause to get Estrovan. Now look for extra strength Estrovan. I'm ready. <laughs> I don't think so, honey. <laughs> Honey. Hey! That's quick. Okay. Yes! This will be fun. Here you go. Moms and kids agree on Nestle Nesquik. Kids love the taste. And you'll love Nesquik because it's fortified to help build strong bones. <laughs> Nestle Nesquik. Kid delicious, mom nutritious. If your pencils look like mine did, there's something you can do. Ask your doctor if the Nicotrol inhaler is right for you. Or for more information, call 1-800-INHALER. Call today. Because sun damage happens every day, not just at the beach. Neutrogena Healthy Defense Daily Moisturizer. The only SPF 30 moisturizer recommended number one by dermatologists. Its light, non-greasy formula helps prevent the signs of aging. Neutrogena Healthy Defense Moisturizer. Garden Claw, one of America's favorite garden tools, is good as gold. It adjusts to fit gardeners of all sizes. Garden Claw Gold helps you cultivate, loosen, aerate, and weed without being tough on your back. The Claw's steel tines tear through all kinds of soil, even clay, bringing moisture and oxygen to plants' roots. And it turns weeds and leaves into beneficial mulch. Garden Claw Gold makes a great gift. Available at Home Depot and participating Ace True Value and Do It Best Hardware stores makes a great gift. GEICO excellence means serving our customers 24 hours a day. I'm talking 24-7, no sleep, hey Louise, make me a pot of coffee, because I'm here to serve the customers. <laughs> That's as if you were at an all-night diner. That's what you'd say. GEICO. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. We're going up. If GEICO were a food group, we would be the vegetables, not the meat. Got here as fast as I could. What's this about Sit Rose? Sit down, darling. I'm serious, Mom. What's going on? I want answers. I want answers, too. I want to know why Carly is the toast of the company that I'm supposed to be designing for. I want to know why no one's been arrested for terrorizing me. I want to know what's happened to my work and how somebody could break into my suite and destroy it. I spoke to Jack earlier today, and he's working on the case. Jack is still married to the slut who somehow came up with a fall line while I was held prisoner. Okay, what does any of this have to do with Rose? Why don't you take a look at these? Mom, I'm serious. I what want you to take a look at these. At the preliminary sketches I did for Rosanna, that's all I have left to show any proof that I was working on a line. Wow, these are beautiful, Mom. Thank you. Is any indication of the final product? It's 
It's incredible, really. I... Well, Carly and her friends destroyed the final product. And they need to be punished for it. I mean, no matter who did okay, it, Okay, if it's you start in on Rose, Paul. I am walking out of here. I know things, Paul. I have details about when I was held prisoner. I have been able to put things together in my mind. And if somehow I am able to prove that Rose was involved... But you were I not going to be know. able to prove a damn thing because she wasn't involved. Now let it go, Mom. Don't you think I wish I could do that? But I can't do that, Paul. She was involved. All right. I'm out of here. No, 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 no. Listen to me. Listen to me. I have proof. I have an eyewitness. And he will swear that Rose was involved in my kidnapping. I'm going to tell you exactly what I'm looking for. Just your basic centerfold, right? No, I... Not even that. You know, just somebody who's honest. Somebody who's warm and funny and down to earth. And... She's just got to have a big heart, you know? I'll tell you the messed up thing about this town. All the good girls, they're either involved or they're married. We'll find someone who isn't ma married. Mitzi's not married. She's got a heart the size of Jersey, that one. Mitzi? I don't think so. Yeah. Talk about high minutes. <laughs> right. Don't you worry, I am on the case. You can put that Molly McKinnon behind you and it's in a bad attitude. <laughs> She was threatened at the hotel. What? Did you call the police? No. These guys, they were after Dusty, and when they couldn't find him, they muscled me instead. But hotel? Your hotel room, his hotel room? It doesn't matter. All right, the point is, Dusty's obviously into some bad stuff, and now he's got Molly involved, too. Well, I'll call Margo. No, stay out of it. Listen, he's just going to... He's going to... Say that it's no big deal and talk his way out of it again. If it's no big deal, he won't mind if I ask him a few questions then. Hey. Hey. I just dodged a huge game of hide and seek. Um, were you seeking or were you hiding, Carly? He knows everything. I told him everything. Emily says that uh, you weren't involved. I wasn't, but I would have been if I'd thought of it first. I'd jail you both if I didn't have two innocent kids to answer to who adore you. That's why we're going to call Tom, and we are going to work out a legal stri- We have an option. And it's really very simple. Mm -hmm. Are Jack superior, right? Order him to destroy that receipt. This is no place for a bandage. Till now. From Band-Aid brand comes the Liquid Bandage. An instant waterproof seal that stays on anywhere. Which helps every cut heal fast. Liquid Bandage from Band-Aid Brand. Come to Hancock Fabrics now through Mother's Day and get a great deal on this new home sewing machine, only $99.99. And take 20% off our entire stock of home decorator fabrics. Hancock, your fabric store and so much more. Sometimes people bring me more than just their pet. That's Buddy. Ooh. 
and about 100 of his closest friends. And when pets have fleas and ticks, your home and family might have them too. So I recommend Frontline Plus for dogs and cats. It kills fleas fast and lasts longer than any other leading brand. And it kills flea eggs and larvae. Frontline Plus also kills ticks, including those that may transmit Lyme disease. It's my job to keep dogs and cats healthy. Fleas and ticks, that's another story. Frontline Plus, veterinarian's number one choice. Every day, the South wakes up to billions of allergens, from cats and dogs to ragweed and dust. That's why there's Clarinex. Clarinex provides receptor protection to help block histamine. Get 24-hour non-drowsy allergy relief anywhere, anytime. Side effects are similar to sugar pill, including sore throat, dry mouth, and fatigue. Indoor allergies, outdoor allergies, wherever. Talk to your doctor about Clarinex. What's it like to crunch into a Twix, 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 Creamy, Crunchy, Cookie, Twix! Twix! Tony V in the mix. Crunch into a Twix. Twix. It's all in the mix. The soothing aroma of lavender is in palm olive aromatherapy. I enjoy its relaxing fragrance as it cuts through the toughest grease. Mm. Palm olive aromatherapy carries me out of this kitchen and into this one. Palm olive aromatherapy. Today, more people with diabetes are getting to know AccuCheck Compact. The one with the drum. Automatic, so you never have to handle a test strip, even when you're in the middle of something important. Compact from AccuCheck. Diabetes made easier. Life lived better. CBS tonight on the Star Search semifinals. These past winners move on to the next round. Oh my God. But the performers who didn't win aren't going home quietly. Judges don't know what they're talking about. I absolutely don't think it's fair. It's unlike any other talent show you've seen, and you get the last vote. Star Search semifinals live CBS tonight. Saturday, the angels say goodbye. This is our last assignment. Do your best work ever. Carol Burnett hosts the two-part series finale beginning Saturday. Best-selling author and America's queen of suspense, Mary Higgins Clark, tells a gripping new tale of deception, scandal, and murder. Sometimes things are deadlier the second time around. Did you know Betting Experts has the largest selection of Sealy mattresses, all sizes, all styles? Sealy special only at Betting Experts. Queen size mattress sets are now $269. Sealy mattresses are popping up all over town because it's always Sealy saving time at Betting Experts. For the store nearest you, call 1 888 Experts. It's Empire Today's big spring sale. We've got a giant warehouse full of carpet at a huge 50% off. Call Empire Today. We'll bring samples to your home and install your carpet next day. With Empire Today, you'll save 50%, plus no payments for one year. So what are you waiting for? Save 50% during Empire Today's big spring sale. But there's just a little time. So call now. 800-588-2300-EMPIRE-TODAY. Call for windows and siding in a week, too. Dan Ryan Woods tries again, opening with a comprehensive new safety plan at 4.30. CBS presents A Night to Love. <laughs> Lucy, CBS Sunday, May 4th. No receipt. No trail. No jail. It's perfect. Uh, I'm not destroying evidence. Well, then, your wife goes to jail. Come on, Hal, think about it. Emily's a mommy. And what about the kids? And what about Susan and Allison? Haven't they been through enough? And I'm the one who made the mistake. So I should pay the consequences. I, I will tell Jack everything and accept what happens. No, no, without a lawyer, you're not. Look, I never meant to hurt you or the kids or anyone. I promise, but if I lose you, oh, for Barbara Ryan, it's really like some sick cosmic Stop. joke they're playing on me. You are not going to lose me. Get that out of your head right now.
talk to Jack myself first thing in the morning. Okay. I gotta go. I'll call you later. And now you, you listen down. Don't you be a murderer. I won't. Hey, Jack, it's me. I gotta talk to you right away. You're gonna have to do a hell of a lot better than come up with some make-believe eyewitness. The eyewitness is real and is telling the truth. And when the right people hear that truth, it will be revealed that Rose was a co-conspirator. That is impossible. No, it's not. And what I want to know is if the police find enough evidence to arrest Rose, will you stand by me? This is not a contest, Mom. It, it, it is different. It's supposed to be different. Hey, hey I hope hey, I'm interrupting hey, hey, hey. something. Mm. Could we finish our conversation, please? Yeah, go, shoot. How dare you come between me and my son when we're having a conversation after everything that you have put me through? Blow another tune, Barbara. All right, we were finished. I need to know this, son, that if what I am saying is the truth, I need to know that you will stand by me. I'm your mother. I raised you. I love you more than anything. It is not going to play out the way you think. But if it does, okay, sure, I'll stand by you. All right? Thank you. Okay. All right. Yeah, pulled out all the stops. What I miss? Nothing. Uh, no, 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 nothing. What's going on? What's nothing. got y'all shook you up? Uh, uh, she tried to convince me that she has an eyewitness that will prove that you were involved in the kidnapping. I told her it was impossible. But oh, if you it know, was he, possible, he, then he, he would stand by her. But it didn't happen, so it doesn't matter. It matters. Uh, no, to no, me. It, it, listen, I was just trying to get her off my back. Oh, I don't know what you're trying to do, but what you did do was sell me out. And I don't like it. Dusty is in business with Rose. I'm gonna make sure they're not going after oh her. Oh my god, as well. I didn't even think about Rose. I'll keep your dinner warm. Thank you. So these guys were pretty scary, huh? Terrifying. Like I said to Mike, Katie, I didn't know where else to go. He knew exactly where to go, Molly. Straight into Mike's open arms. Millions of us are hospitalized with heart-related chest pain or a certain type of heart attack, what doctors call ACS. The cause? For most, it was blood platelets that formed clots, which blocked blood from getting to the heart. Think aspirin and your other heart medications alone are enough? One more thing could help make a difference. Ask your doctor about adding Plavix. Added to aspirin in your current treatment, Plavix goes beyond what you're taking to help raise protection against heart attack or stroke. Plavix and your other medications work in different ways. Plavix taken with aspirin plays its own role in keeping blood platelets from sticking together and forming clots which helps keep blood flowing if you have a medical condition that causes bleeding such as stomach ulcer you shouldn't use plavix the risk of bleeding may increase with plavix and when you take plavix with certain other medicines including aspirin review your medicines with your doctor to minimize this risk additional rare but serious side effects could occur add plavix for more protection against heart attack or stroke when I say the magic words, new stock appears. Magic words! Please. Ta -da! I just saw him put that out. No, it's magic. Voila! Come on, this place changes all the time. Believe. Pier 1 Imports. Tired of shaving? Hmm. Curel Smooth Legs Moisturizer makes hair less noticeable. Now you can shave half as often. For all day moisture and smooth legs. Get the Curel. Hmm. That tastes like pepperoni pizza. That's what you get with pepperoni pizzazzaroli. It's positively pizza-rific. Oh, oh. Say, 
my goodness. Try Cheesy Burger too. Only new Oust air sanitizer kills odor-causing bacteria in the air. I mostly sprayed Lysol in the air. I thought Lysol was an air sanitizer. It's true. Lysol works on surfaces, but it's not meant for the air. Only Oust air sanitizer kills 99.9% .9 of odor-causing bacteria in the air. My daughter Carly is like a tomboy, and her clothes are stinky and gross. Little spray. Right away, it smells great. Just fresh. Get odor-causing bacteria out with new Oust air sanitizer. S.C. E. Johnson, a family company. Oust gets rid of the odors, doesn't mask the odors. This ex-cop is finally going to trial. And the truth about his ex-partner may be exposed. I'm gonna lose my kid because of you! Ah! An all-new hack, CBS Tonight. From Hallmark Hall of Fame and best-selling author John Grisham, Luke Chandler witnessed a murder. Little boys who keep secrets can get in big trouble. Now, how can he reveal the truth if it brings danger to his family? You watch yourself, boy. A painted house after the series finale of Touched by an Angel, CBS Sunday. You know, Mike and I have history, Katie. Well, the thing about history is it's all about the past. That's an easy place to get stuck when you're trying to move on. Maybe I'm not the only one feeling threatened tonight. I'm not after Mike, if that's what you're getting at. I'm still married, and I miss my husband very much. But Mike is a friend of mine, and I don't like to see my friends get used. Nobody's using anybody here. Really? He's still totally into you, if you didn't notice. You guys have been talking about me? I told you. We're friends. Let me give you a little warning, Katie. I wouldn't let it get too far. I'd really hate to see you get your heart broken again so soon. Molly, you gotta return my call sometime. Just a minute! I'll try again later. She had some company earlier today. Is Molly with you? It's none of your business. Yeah, she got the wrong idea. I had a couple of business associates in from Chicago. Well, these associates think that Molly's your girlfriend. You know, they think you actually care about her. They think they can get to you through her. You've been watching too many gangster movies. Tell you what, you tell your friends that you and Molly are finished. Because if they bother her one more time, I will come after you. Rose, the woman, wears me down. Okay. I, you know how she gets. She gets on something, and she won't let it go. So, yeah, sometimes I take the easy way out, and I just tell her what she wants to hear. That's it. Is that what you do with me? No, never, because you don't ever wear me down. You just wear me out. Don't, don't get all cute and sexy with me when I got a head full of steam. Right, listen to me. I waited for six months for you to come home to me. I waited another few months for us to get our feet back on the ground. And then when we finally decide we want to get married again, it was you, wasn't it? Yeah, it was you who told me that I needed to rekindle some sort of relationship with my mother, wasn't it? Never going to let me live that down, are you? Nope. All right. Then I need a promise from you. Now, it's going to sound a lot like the promise your mom wanted, but it's a little different. Because I am not her. <laughs> I am the woman that's going to be your wife. So I have to know, if it came down to a fight between her and me, you would pick me, no matter what. Of course. No matter what. <sighs> Sorry. Hello? Rose, it's me. Bad news. What a coincidence. Paul and I are just having a little bite to eat here at the Lakeview. We're totally busted. Hal knows everything. Jack has the receipt from the watch, and, and apparently I was ID'd by some clerk at that jewelry store. Hold on. Well, I'm sure you'll find another dress just like it. Hal's trying to find a way to help, but I don't know how. But I thought you should tell Paul yourself before he finds out from somebody else. You're right. Thanks for the heads up. Everything okay? No. Everything's not okay. I, I gotta tell you something. Okay. And I'm just gonna say it and let the chips fall where they may. Hey! 
I'm glad I caught you. What are you doing down here, Carly? I hate the way we left things. It's a running theme with us. I'm really trying, Jack. Trying by using the information about the search warrant to help Craig? No, I'm not here about And you shouldn't Craig. be mixing it up with Rosanna. Especially now. You want to end up back in the hospital with a relapse? That's not going to happen. I'm taking good care of myself and the baby, Jack. I am. Good. I mean this. I want to play things honestly from now on. <laughs> what? Nothing. You want me to prove it to you? Come on. You want honesty? Well, here it is. Emily confessed everything to Hal. Everything? Everything. About how she snatched Barbara and, and kept her in that cabin. About how Barbara ripped the watch from her wrist so she had to buy a new one. Everything. It's all out in the open. How's Hal? He looks like somebody just ran over his dog. So does Emily. They don't deserve this. Oh, come on, Carly. They didn't run into a stroke of bad luck here. Emily committed a crime. Maybe she did. Maybe not. What, 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 what are you talking about, Carly? I've got the receipt for that watch, and now a confession. Well, what if you didn't have either one of those things? What if that receipt suddenly, unfortunately, were lost? Did Hal send you here? Hal <laughs> Munson, now or Hal Munson? No, Jack. This is completely my idea. This is the new upfront and honest Carly? Yes, what could be more honest than telling you exactly how I feel? Telling you exactly what's on my mind at this very moment? Oh, yeah, so you think that I should break the law and, and destroy evidence to help people who are involved in a serious crime? Not just people, Jack. Our friends. Look, I don't make the laws, Carly. I'm not going to break them because people I care about did. You're sworn to uphold justice, right? Exactly. Well, is it just that Emily should be punished when Barbara wasn't? She walked out of that courtroom last year free as a bird after torturing me and Rose and Emily. She nearly had us killed, Jack, and she lied through her teeth. Now, I understand that you have your duty, your honor, and your oath, but I need to ask you one question. Who really deserves justice this time around? Barbara or Emily? Notice how an old rope can change a quiet pond. That's what the taste of ripe berries does to lemonade. Strawberry lemonade from Country Time. Your diabetes looks different when you finally see the big picture. With One Touch Ultra Smart, the meter and electronic logbook in one, you don't just test, you see trends, spot patterns to help you stay in control. New One Touch Ultra Smart. Get the big picture. Night. It's when most of the world sleeps. A time to reset our clock so we can begin a new day. It's all part of the rhythm of life. But for many, this healthy cycle is disrupted because sleep doesn't always come easy. Fortunately, there's Ambien. Ambien is a prescription sleep aid that can help you get a full night's sleep. While natural sleep is best, Ambien helps you fall asleep fast, stay asleep longer, and wake rested and refreshed, not groggy the next morning. No wonder Ambien is the number one prescribed sleep aid in America. Until you know how Ambien will affect you, you shouldn't drive or operate machinery. Side effects may include drowsiness, dizziness, and diarrhea. You shouldn't take it with alcohol. Patients who abuse prescription sleep aids may become dependent. Prescription sleep aids are most often taken for 7 to 10 days as needed. Your doctor will advise you about taking them longer. Take Ambien only when you can devote a full 7 to 8 hours to sleep and wake rested and ready to start your day. Talk to your doctor about Ambien. Ambien works like a dream. When I brought Alice home, Ralph and Ed weren't exactly thrilled. Purina Cat Chow understood. Great nutrition is just the beginning. Their cat experts shared insights and experiences that helped me bring everybody closer together. Physical, emotional, complete at any age. That's the Purina Cat Chow way of life. Did you know kittens need extra protein to build strong muscles? Feed your kitten Purina Kitten Chow brand. The first step towards a healthy way of life.
A message from the American College of Gastroenterology. Do you have recurrent abdominal pain, bloating, and constipation? You may be one of millions of Americans who suffer from a treatable medical condition doctors call irritable bowel syndrome, or IBS. Fortunately, new treatments and medications are available. For a free brochure and new information about IBS and its treatments, call 1-866-IBS-RELIEF. My advice, if you have recurrent abdominal pain, bloating, and constipation, see your doctor, talk about your symptoms, and ask about new treatments. A shocking charge of police brutality. I want some answers. Could take DC's top cop down. I'll fight you any way I can. All new district. Then, is this American billionaire really a terrorist out to get the CIA? I'm being hacked. What's going on? David Cassidy guest stars on an all new agency following the district CBS Saturday. Like I said, those guys were my business associates. What kind of guys push women around and threaten them? I think she's being a little dramatic, don't you? Don't tell me about Molly, all right? Just stay away from her. Look at you. Who's being the thug right now, huh? If anything happens to her, you had better pray that I don't find you. I know it's hard to believe, Molly, but some women don't just jump from one guy to the other. And even if I did want Mike, I wouldn't have to play games this to get no him to game, notice me. game, Katie. Really? Did you forget the number to 911? You're funny. Don't get too comfortable. Because with Mike, the beginnings are great. It's the end that'll kill you. Tell him I went home. Tell him yourself. You know what's really funny? It is. If you guys actually do fall for each other, when things go bad, you know who'll come running to? Me. Later. I'm not falling in love with Mike. Please, stop thinking like a cop and start thinking like a friend. Call Hal. Tell him you thought it over and you decided that the clerk was wrong. That the woman who bought that watch was not Emily. He ID'd the wrong woman. Carly. Please love him enough to allow him to break the rules. Just shut off your brain and open your heart. I know that heart, Jack. And I know it's capable of incredible, beautiful things. And I also know that I cannot make this decision for you. I know you'll do what's right, G-Man. You always do. trying to wrap his brain around this. Let Jack be the one to talk to Hal. Thank you, Carly. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You saved my life. Hey, you saved mine. I'll talk to you later. Rose. Oh. Telling you this is... It's very hard. I've been wanting to tell you for a really... Okay, can you turn that damn thing as off? As soon as I get this last hello. Rose, it's Emily. Did you tell Paul? I was about to, but I keep getting interrupted. Don't. We may be in the clear, but I, I won't know until the morning. Sure, I'll talk to Faith. Hey, honey. Your Aunt Rose loves you very much. All right, I'll let you know in the morning when I have all the facts. Just sit tight. Yeah, yeah, Uncle Paul's here too. I will. Love you. Bye. Okay. Now, where were we? I was just gonna say that... I can understand why someone would want to take your ma and put her in that cabin and take her designs. And there's a part of me that wishes she could have stayed there. I'm sorry. But 
no matter how I feel about your mom, I love you. And I love you so much, I would deal with her for the next 50 years. If I had to. Hey, 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 where are you going? Oh, I can't, no, 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 good. It's I, I, Lily says that Faith won't eat her peas unless I do this little, little dance. D'Angelo, what are you so afraid to tell me? In a world of computer confusion, three young interns will soon learn there's one place with all the answers. A place where you can get a PC made just for you at a price.